Guys, so you're thinking about feeding your dog raw food and you say, hey, what are some good things? And you guys keep asking me about these books. Let me tell you this, not all book is in fact to, okay? Not all book is exact. As a matter of fact, I'm testing things in the book along with the puppies and the dogs. This right here is some Roomba beef oxtails. You can see this says beef oxtails, right? So get this. And it's a haul kit. They're gonna eat that in a little bit. So y'all, y'all stay tuned. This little piggy came from the market. And uh, we're gonna send him on home. We're gonna send him home now. He's gonna go home now. But you see oxtails right here. And in a raw diet, you need muscle meat, bone, and organ, right? Well, guess what? In the book that you guys have, have seen, it says the best bones to feed your dog in the bone section include necks, which I agree with, wings, which I can agree with, but this was a challenge, carcasses, which a lot of times are rib cages, ribs, which you know you've seen me feed a dog, they love some ribs, and it says oxtails. Well, one moment, please. Give me the camera. Jamarcus fed <laughs> Bam Bam some oxtails. He didn't know this was about to happen, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what happened? Like he tried to eat the thing whole. Wasn't even trying to break it down. He just took it and almost tried to swallow it. And, and mind you, Jamarcus was going through, I put him through seven days of feeding the dogs raw because it's not something that he's familiar with, but he was testing our guides and he's doing videos trying to see, hey, does this actually work? I love a, a second point of view, people. I don't think that I'm right. And to be clear, I don't think the books are right. There are foods you can feed your dog that will freak you out because he had snot coming out of his nose because he just tried to swallow a whole oxtail. So then you got to know your dog. But in the book, you said, I'm gonna get my dog oxtail. Now your dog talking to death, and you went back to what? You went back to, to, to the, the dog food because you go, oh, hell no. I ain't about to deal with that. That was too stressful. And it is, because you come out, there's a bunch of white film, your dog's eyes are bugged, and he like this here. He like this here, because he dying. He's literally dying, so you go, whoo. And I come out, I say, I was in the room, I was like, yo, you good? He was like, man, he tried to eat a whole oxtail, man. He was riled up, and that would get somebody scared to imagine if I didn't pre-pack a lot of times the dog's food before I left, because I know Bam Bam and some of the dogs pretty well, mine at least. And Jamarcus gave him an oxtail, and then he died. That, that'll freak somebody out. That's a bad food. You don't want to call me with that. That I could take the loss to be I'd be like, yo, it happens, man. And it's like, oh, it just happened. Look, the book said oxtails. The book said the best bones or oxtails, they're right in here with the best bones. I gave my dog some oxtails and he died. <laughs> because it didn't say, hey, if you have a fast eater, if you have a dog that doesn't think, and, and Bam Bam got no reason to be eating fast. He literally gets the best food every day. But when it comes to some stuff, he almost died one night eating a whole, trying to eat a whole chicken breast. Nothing said in the books, chop the chicken breast up, which I'm also telling you, chop that chicken breast because this fool will try to swallow a whole breast like a seal and he's not a seal. So I had to dice it up to make sure he don't kill himself. See what I'm saying? So when you guys are asking about the books, what this, what that, I'm testing everything so that you don't have to go through some of the things that we've gone through in fear, to be clear, of our dogs losing their lives or the other stuff being true. You shouldn't feed your dog bones. You hear that all the time. I didn't know you could give the dog bones. You can, but you gotta know how to start, where to take it to. Even when it says the wings, guess what? I gave them little party wings, the little puppies, right? Come out the other day. A whole, one of them little wing bones. She spit up the whole thing. That's a little nervous, cause what did, what did the puppy do? Try to swallow the whole bone. I did, to be clear, threw it up. So then you say, well, the other wings probably work a little bit better. They do. I would agree that a duck wing or a chicken wing wing, you know, not the party wings, would, would suffice and be a little bit better. But the truth is, I'm thinking four or five week old puppy just needs a regular wing because they don't know how to like use a TT for real. And what happened? Swallow one of them whole things and then hacked it up. The struggle's real, people. Take your time uh, in taking care of the dog. We're going to go out here and but do a little feeding of these pups with the oxtails since they out here. Ah, you know what? We're gonna save these for later just because we gotta get on that we gotta get them on that head in a little bit. But at any so as you unfortunately saw Cha Cha did some choking, I jumped on the phone with Ruben. Ruben helped me walk me through because I think we got past the point where we're like, oh, this is a little too much. 
again, my projection was bam, 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 bam. So far, when he has choked, not saying I want him to choke. You want to see if he got smarter, and trust me, he got smarter. <laughs> he didn't choke this time. It's a scary feeling when we don't know how to protect our dogs, and I have uh, a lot of education. And Ruben even walked me through exactly where to put your hands to help push, and the diaphragm to help get things out of there. If it is, does get stuck. Stuck, stuck. Because the dogs go through an extensive process of protecting themselves. I as I said before, love books, but there's nothing like real time, real life, getting out there and, and dealing with that dog. So, if your dog is choking, I'm not gonna tell you the rush to a vet. Keep some peroxide on deck. We have peroxide, which helps the dog throw up. Let the dog go through its process. If it gets real bad and you start seeing purple or discolorization and the dog no longer breathing, now you have a big problem. And you might wanna learn how to perform the Heimlich Maneuver to really help get that stuff unstuck. And keep in mind, physically speaking, from a physics standpoint, oxtails actually might be better for a smaller dog because they wouldn't think to swallow the whole thing. Physics says, this is too big, let me work on this. The oxtails were right at the right size, but to them it's like, oh, like eating a, a, a sirloin or something. Only it got a stone in the middle. No, it wasn't no stone. It was a little, little tiny bone. But that bone and the whole thing just became very stressful. So stay tuned. Take care of your dogs. I hate that we had to go through that. And I was really like, yo, maybe. But it was like, it got ugly real quick. Wasn't what I projected. Wasn't my hope to be clear. I don't want to lose none of my dogs. But I wanted to show you that even when, when reading the book, I repeat, <laughs> it don't prepare you for that.